We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. And uh, you may have heard about this Mexican resort called Freedom Paradise. Freedom Paradise is catering to very fat customers. No um, uh, flimsy aluminum pool ladders at the pools at Freedom Paradise. No, they will have uh, wide concrete steps rather than a flimsy aluminum pool ladder. Because uh, I imagine some people are so fat they step on an aluminum pool ladder and it starts to buckle. Of course, I would say that's one way to know you are way too fat. Stepping up an aluminum pool ladder and the steps start to go. Way too fat. Uh, Also, at Freedom Paradise, no flimsy beach chairs, no plastic. They have big, wide benches made of tree trunks. Four-foot-wide chase lounges and 26-inch-wide dining room chairs, all reinforced, all made out of wood so that it won't collapse under you. Now, imagine you're sitting on a piece of furniture and it collapses. That means you are way too fat. goes beyond having 10 or 12 extra pounds. No armrests because apparently there are people who are so fat they get stuck. They sit down at a chair with an armrest, and then they stand up, and the chair is attached to them. No armrests here. But, of course, if you sit down in a chair with armrests, and when you get up, the chair is stuck to your love handles, you're too goddamn fat. (laughs) Oh, yes. It's uh, amazing how we are catering to the very, very fat people out there. The uh, rooms at the uh, hotel, by the way, Freedom Paradise, the rooms for big people are on the ground floor. God forbid they should have to get on an elevator and that the cable snapped. All the, uh, all the rooms are on the ground floor. No walking up to the second floor for, for big, fat people. Big, wide hallways. I wonder if anybody's ever walked down a hallway in a hotel and, you know, their love handles were scraping the wall as they were going down the hall. Not, not at this hotel. Ample walkways. Of course, if you're walking down the hall and you can feel the walls as you're walking down the hall, you are way too fat. Way too fat. Railings and access rails on pools and in showers. So you can move your big fat body around. I I, I don't know why you would need a railing. I imagine if you're that fat, even a railing wouldn't help you hoist yourself out of the pool. Extra large reinforced beds and double wide doors at Freedom Paradise. Extra large reinforced beds. If you're in a bed and you lay down and the bed cracks and you collapse to the floor, you are way too fat. If you open the door to a hotel room and you can't fit, you are way too fat. Now, I imagine there are other ways to tell if you are way too fat. Things that happen to you, things that break under you, mishaps, all kinds of clues and hints you find in your life. Things happen, and you find out you're way too fat. I imagine if you uh, if you park in the parking lot of your average uh, strip mall, and you're out of breath by the time you get to the 7-Eleven to buy another Slurpee, you are way too fat. No doubt about it. If you're out of breath going upstairs, like one flight of stairs, you're way too fat. If you're in a restaurant and you order the Chateau Briand for two, but there's only one of you there, you are way too.
who? Fact. So you get the idea. What are some of the ways that you can tell that it's gone too far? That you've eaten too much? That you've gotten too big? That you are way too fat? Tom, Tom Likus. 1-800-5800-TOM. You amuse me. Well, thank you so much. I, I love when you're condescending like that. It turns me on. It's the Tom Likus Show. Tom like is show at one 800 tom Ever get a telephone call from somebody who doesn't know they've called you? This has happened to me twice now in the last two weeks. It just happened to me again. I got a phone call from, in this case, she doesn't even know she called me yet. My, uh, my most recent ex-wife apparently accidentally hit the send button and called me. And so when I picked up my phone, I could uh, I could hear my own show playing in the background. So she's somewhere, I don't know, in her car, at home, somewhere where she's got the radio on. She's listening to me and inadvertently called me and doesn't know she called. I didn't even have her cell phone number until I dialed her back and got her voicemail, and it's her. Last week, somebody, I'm not going to say who it was, somebody called me up. Not knowing he called me. Hit the send button inadvertently. Had a phone that, you know, some phones, it's just easy to do this. You know, you just, it, it, you, you bump the phone the wrong way and it hits the send button. Somebody I know was there and then visited the bathroom. And um, I guess the uh, cell phone, you know, along with his boxers, dropped to the floor. And I could hear every glorious moment of his visit to the can. I don't want to embarrass the person who did this, but somebody out there didn't know they called me, and I put the mute button on my phone, just sat back on the speakerphone, and listened to this guy uh, going for it. It's amazing. The phone call I got. This person who will remain unnamed no matter what. You can't pry it out of me. This is what I heard. It's great. I don't know if, like, you know, when his pants hit the floor, maybe he had the um, cell phone... Um, on his belt, and his pants hit the floor. Somehow it hit the send button, and it called me. It was great. Yeah. That's what it was. Couldn't believe it. Somebody who knows me did this within the last two weeks. Oh, yeah. It was great. <laughs> Whoever this was was uh, drinking a lot of liquid. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. That was quite the visit. And I'm going to tell you something else I found out about this person. He was alone in the restroom. And you know how I know? He didn't wash his hands after taking a leak. He thought he was in that men's room all by himself. But you know what? I was right there with him. And there's somebody I know who doesn't scrub up after uh, taking a whiz. So, if you're a person who, when nobody's looking, goes to the bathroom and then doesn't wash up unless there's somebody looking, you're a suspect. You might be... Now, I know who it is who called. Thank God for caller ID, or this mystery would have hounded me forever. But I'd completely forgotten about it until my ex-wife just called me and doesn't know she called me. And she's listening right now because I can hear my own show. I, I, I get a phone call, right? I pick up my cell phone, hello, and it's somebody. I, I'm thinking, you know, some listener got my private unlisted phone number, you know, because I can hear my show play. So I looked at the caller ID. I saw the number, and I dialed the number back, and I got the voicemail, and it's my ex. So... Now, Dean, I call you up by accident all the time because your button is in the lower left-hand corner of the little touch screen on my phone. So, a Dean's number, I dial all the time. But you know what? I notice when I do it. You don't hear me in there having a bowel movement, uh, and uh, you can't just sit back and, uh, you know, have a brew while I'm in the bathroom or something. You, that, that doesn't happen. Usually when I dial Dean by accident, I tell him it's me and I'm done. Because with caller ID, you can't lie about this stuff. 
you, you used to be able to lie. No, it wasn't me. I didn't call you. No, it wasn't me. You can't do that anymore. Anyway, my ex is listening, and um, watch that send button. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. And I'm um, trying to find out how you know you've gotten too fat. Ways you can tell you know you've gotten too fat. Pat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, Pat. So I'm out on a major search engine today and uh, found a picture in France of a gal who the uh, fire department was there helping with respiratory problems. And to get her out of the house, they had to bring in a crane. Oh, that's... 585 pounds, baby. <laughs> that's a clue. Uh, that's a clue. That's a clue. Yeah. You need to take Domino's Pizza off the speed dial and put Jenny Craig or something else in there, Dr. Atkins or somebody. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Boy, oh, boy. All right, that's a good one. Thank you, Pat. All righty. Have a good day, Tom. You too. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Bethany, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Bethany. Uh, you know, I think you're too fat if you have to buy two airplane tickets. You absolutely are, and how embarrassing must that be when you're at the airport? Well, I'd hate to be the person who has to tell somebody that they have to buy two tickets. You know, well, but, but you know what? There, are, there are people who have jobs where they have to give people bad news or they have to tell people uncomfortable stuff. We did a whole two hours one day where we talked to people who worked at the human resources department of any company, and we heard a string. We ought to do that show again sometime. We called it HR, like ER. You know, it was my own, it was my own pilot for a new TV series, HR. Where you put a new camera. reality show. Yes, you put a camera in any human resources office, and then run some of the best material, like the people who get called in and they're told that they have to start wearing deodorant to the office, or the people who get called in and they're told you're going to have to shower now and then, or the people who get called in and they're told tampons, stop using pads, go to the tampons. Oh God. <laughs> I think it's time to do that show again. <laughs> I'll uh, be listening. And uh, no doubt, hey, I'll be at the airport and going, uh, sir, that'll be two tickets. Yeah, that's pretty bad, huh? <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> Thank you, Bethany. Thanks, Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ways you know you've gotten way too fat. Brian, hello. You are way, way too fat if you've got to use that seat belt extension on the airline. Oh, and you have to ask for it, too. Excuse me. You are way out there. Excuse me. Can you bring me that safe on extension? <laughs> Catch you later. All right, thank you, Brian. Don't think we're not noticing when you're... Uh... Don't think we don't notice that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Danny. Hello, Tom. Hello, Danny. The reason... The way you know if somebody's too fat... I used to be a shoe salesman. Yeah. Women will put these shoes on, and the fat is coming out the side of these shoes on these pumps, brother. Oh, and pumps are supposed to be sexy. There's nothing sexy about seeing that fat squirting out of the side of an FMP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying, brother. I have to work there every day before and have to see fat women walking in trying to put shoes on that, first of all, don't fit them. And then they and want you to tell them how sexy they are. Yeah. Or you won't Look, sell anything. I should get them for sexual harassment. <laughs> Can you take me out with a bong hit? Here it comes, Danny. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. It's Ken on the Tom Liger Show. We're trying to find out the ways you know you are way too fat. Ken? Tom, how you doing? And I do care. Doing great, Ken. Great. I was on January 19th this year that I bought a chair from Walmart, and I was hanging a bird feeder in my backyard. I went right through it. <laughs> I weighed 300 pounds then, and I began Weight Watchers the very next day. very next day, because that was a sign. It was, the very next day, and I've lost 77 pounds since. Wow. So I'm down to 223, man, and I'm still going. So if there's people out there who say you can't do it, well, uh, I got news for you. Yes, you can. <laughs> Just put the fork down and do some push-aways from the table. That's all you got to do. You are absolutely right about that, Ken. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Ways you know you are way too fat. Brian, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, 
Tom? How you doing? I'm okay, Brian. And I do care. Thank you. Uh, I'm a surgeon in Newport Beach. I had a patient who was a lawyer who weighed about 500 pounds. One day he got up and he ended up with an inguinal hernia, and all of his intestines dropped down into his scrotum. No. We had to, we, it took us about eight hours to fix this guy. We had to open up. His I belly. didn't even know that was possible. People with a hernia can, can drop down inside there just like that. Ooh, wait. This, this guy had to carry himself into our office. He put his scrotum in a wheelbarrow, just kind of had it in his hands. <laughs> and he carried, that's how he got out of the house and to the office. <laughs> if I saw a guy walking by with his scrotum in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, it was, it was one of the most disgusting things that I've seen, and I've seen a lot. I, Blow think, me up, Tom. I think that guy had the biggest balls I'd ever seen. I'll tell you what. I'll blow you up, babe. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. I'm looking for the ways you know you are way too fat. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Scott. How you doing, brother? Do you care, Scott? Not really. Doing great. Okay. I don't care uh, if you care. <laughs> okay. I used to be fat. I lost 80 pounds when I was 20 years old because I couldn't get laid. Fat people know they're too fat when they can't get laid anymore. <laughs> and it's the truth, Tom. Five years ago, I'm 25 now. Five years ago, I lost 80 pounds because I could not get a piece of ass. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you something. Chicks can't get enough now. Look at that. And uh, the, here's, here's the thing, Tom. This, this past September, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had a bone tumor, and uh, they hacked my leg off. I could have sat on my ass and done nothing and felt sorry for myself, but I went back to the gym. Uh-huh. I'm still not fat. I'm back up to 200 pounds. I'm still a bodybuilder. And uh, let me tell you something, man. It's like a puppy dog. The chicks love it. Good for you. Uh, now, how cool is that? You have all these people who've got two legs who exactly. are too lazy to get off their ass and do anything. They got, they got two legs, and they're too lazy to go to the gym. Right. Tom, I got one leg. Well, I got a fake one, too, but I got one leg. I still go to the gym, and I can still get laid. Now, when, you, uh, when you're having sex, do you pull it off? Uh, I've done it both ways. Yeah, and do the chicks ask you to leave it on or pull it off, or do they uh, have it? Opinion? Depends on the girl. What do they prefer? They like going with the stump, or do they like having the whole uh, the whole magilla? Uh, I don't know. It's it's really up to the girl. I, I I think they prefer it off. They like it off. A little softer that way. I think everyone's had a little bit of a fetish about that. They think uh, people... Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I've never uh, never come across a fetish girl, but I tell you, man, it's like a puppy dog. The chicks dig it. Sit on my what? stump, baby. As soon as they see that. No, they want a piece of it. I'll tell you, a chick sat on your stump, it'd be like being with some really well-hung guy. <laughs> True. That could be really hot. I'm thinking about that right now. All right, well, not too much, though. Uh, Scott, thanks very much for the call. I appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number here in Los Angeles. You can call us. Trying to find out the various ways you can tell when you've gotten way too fast. Let's say hello here to Jake on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Jake. Hey, uh, you know you're too fat when your fat ass can't sit on the toilet seat. <laughs> it's only true, my man. Uh, do you know anyone that's happened to? Hell no. I don't know no fat people. I don't associate with them, man. You know, I, I once, uh, I swear to you, I, I once uh, did some fill-in work at a radio station uh, uh, where the they had a late-night guy who was hugely fat. Uh, this guy used to come into the radio station, and he had a spice rack. I'm not making this up. He had a spice rack placed above the control board, uh, but he didn't have spices on there. He had various medications lined up on the spice rack. So all these little prescription bottles where the spices should go, okay? And he was so fat, he couldn't reach the buttons. Uh, so he used to have to use a ruler <laughs> to press the buttons to make That's the commercials ridiculous. play. This is true. So anyway, when they hired this guy, you go to the bathroom, and they literally had to like get a, a toilet like for handicapped people with extra bolts. It was bolted onto the wall. Normally, a toilet is mounted on the floor. Yeah. They had to bolt it to the wall <laughs> so the toilet wouldn't fall off the wall. It's one thing for your ass to spill out over the sides of the seat. How about you sit on a normal toilet and it just comes out of the wall? That's right. 
Now then you know you are way too fat. That is goddamn right, man. <laughs> You're the goddamn god, like it. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Later. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Easy our telephone number. No, 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 no. It's not him. No. This is somebody else in some other city. Somewhere. No doubt about it. <laughs> uh, Fernando, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Fernando. Hello. You know you're way too fat when you have to open the door and then swing it open with your leg. <laughs> and then hold on to the sides to get their fat asses out of the car. Oh, you mean a car door. Yes. yes. <laughs> I've seen that plenty of times. Then they disregard the car right next to them. They just go ahead and slam their door onto the next car. <laughs> That's true. That's true. A little, a little ding, a little nick. They don't care. It's your car. What do they care? Yeah. You're absolutely I'm right. Out, Tom. All right, thank you for that, Fernando. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ways you can tell you are way too fat. Linda, hello. Hi, Tom. How I, are you? Do you care, Linda? I do. I'm doing great. Good. I have got a story for you. Um, I was growing up in a small town, and there was this big, fat lady that lived in town that everybody knew her, and her husband was really skinny. And she actually fell through the bathroom floor while taking a shower because the tub collapsed. <laughs> and her husband called the fire department and then left. <laughs> you, know, you know you're way too bad if you've ever called the fire department on a day when there was no fire. And Because if it wasn't for falling through the floor, it's because you needed the paramedics, because you couldn't breathe, because you had to be lifted out of bed, whatever. Oh, Tom, and then the worst part about this yes. is that some friends of ours worked at the hospital, and they took her to the hospital, and then rumor had it what, that there was mold growing in between the layers of her fat. Oh, my God. Isn't that sick? That is really bad. Do you know there was a radio personality in Los Angeles? I think this is about seven or eight years ago. A radio personality who by this time was no longer employed. Um, who was at the time very ill, so ill, so fat, they had to remove, he lived like in an apartment, like on the second floor, and they had to remove the brick wall so that they could get a forklift in the side of the building and remove him from bed and take him to the hospital. Oh my God. Now that is way too fat. Tom, I just want to tell you, I listen to you like every day. My husband listens to you. I encourage all of the young guys at my work to listen to you. You are like the king of radio. You are so awesome. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. We're trying to find the ways you know you are way too fat. Well, when you're sitting on that toilet that's about to fall off the wall because it didn't get bolted back up, and you can't even wipe your own crack. <laughs> Don't ever stop with The Tom Like is show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Tell us the ways you know you've gotten way too fat. CM on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hey, Tom. CM. I got one for you. Mm. I was at a picnic. This, uh, I'm sitting out, I just got a plate of food, sit down in this lawn chair, and here comes this rather large lady with her daughter in tow holding a glass of milk for her. Uh -huh. She's got two big plates of food, chicken, mashed potatoes, you know, all the good stuff for a fat person. Mm -hmm. Sits down and proceeds to use her stomach as a table. <laughs> uh, she set both plates of food on her stomach and the glass of milk. <laughs> Well, that's where it's going to go anyway. It might as well start right there. Exactly. <laughs> and then she has her daughter go get her this big, huge piece of cake, chocolate cake with, like, three scoops of ice cream because when she sat down in a lawn chair, you know lawn chairs with the sides open like that? Yeah. She was having a little bit of a rough time getting out of the damn thing. I'm surprised it didn't buckle underneath her. 1-800-5800-TOM <laughs> is our telephone number. Tristan. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? No, I, Tristan. 
Uh, hey, you know you're way too fat when you listen to your show every day and use all your tips and your help and you still can't get laid. Oh, yeah. If you can't get laid listening to this show, you must be way, way too fat. That's also a way to tell you're way too poor. Yeah, that's true, but <laughs> either way. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. 1-800-5800-TOM. Brian, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you, buddy? Uh, pretty good, Brian. Hey there. You know you're too big. When? Uh... I was an airline pilot there before I got furloughed and flew a 19-passenger airplane. Get my passengers on. This guy is probably a couple of biscuits over 350 pounds. Oh, boy. Starts waddling up the step to the front of the airplane. The nose starts going down. So I'm kind of watching this. He goes on, goes to the very back of the airplane, second to the last row. As he's walking back, I can feel the airplane starting to teeter towards the tail. So he sits down. We're getting ready to go. And I look at this guy and thought, no way, we're going to scrape the tail on takeoff. So I ask him, sir, politely as I could, I need to move you to, towards the front of the airplane. So he gets up, and he's moving up the aisle, and he's actually knocking people's shoulders as he's walking <laughs> up the aisle. So I get him in another seat. He's trying to put the seat belt on. He's got about four or five inches before he can clip it. Yeah. So he's sitting there fighting with it, pressing in on his girth, and it's just not going in. <laughs> so I'm already strapped in. The, the engines are running. We're taxiing out. And I look back, and I see this guy, and I thought, I can't, can't take off. So we have to stop on the taxiway. I've got to jump out, get the seatbelt extender because he was too proud to ask for it. Give him the extender to hook him in. And it was just uh, uh, like trying to shove a shoehorn into that seat to oh get all God. of them in there. Oh, my God. So. It was uh, quite chaotic, and had he gotten up and moved around while we were in the air, yeah. probably would have threw the CG of the airplane out, and who knows what would have happened. I wonder if anyone's big enough to do that on a bigger plane. Uh, I imagine it's possible. Say like a 777 or something like that. Oh, boy, probably a couple biscuits over 500, and it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you take me out Intimidator style? Intimidator style? Yes. Well, here you go, Brian. Indeed. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Eric on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. What's up, Pop? Uh, not much, Eric. What can I do for you? A uh, long time, first time, bro. Thank you. Okay, I got a couple of BBW ideas for you. Uh-huh. All right, man. You know you're too big when you get on a scale, a digital scale, and it can't even guess your way. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. You you know you're too big, dude. When you got when you got to wash yourself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> you have to wash your ass with a Swiffer. Yeah, no kidding, oh, dude. <laughs> That's how you know you're too fat. The Swiffer, you know what that Swiffer is? It's that big mop-looking thing where you yeah, yeah, you yeah. put like a big thick paper towel and then it's got like a bottle of liquid in it and it mops your floor. Oh yeah. You could. Yeah. I imagine a really fat person could get a Swiffer, extend it all the way out, and then wipe their ass with that thing. Oh yeah, dude. Hey, can you take me out THX style? THX style, of course I can, Eric. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Roy on the Tom Like It Show. We're looking for the ways you can tell you've gotten way too fat. Hello, Roy. All right, let's say hi to Rich on the Tom Like It Show. How you doing, Tom? All right, Rich. Hey, uh, my girlfriend, she's a, she's a nurse, and they brought this big fat lady in one night, and uh, she was having a heart attack. And um, under the, the fold of fat they had lifted up, they were examining her, they found a, check this out, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was molded, and here's the kicker, a TV remote control. Come on! I swear to God, she said it was the grossest thing she's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they found this in the creases of her fat? It's under her fold of her stomach. Yes. Uh, they found an entire peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, and it was it was a it was a sand, a half eaten sandwich that was all moldy. And, and a remote, remote control, a TV remote, remote control. Remote control under her fat fold. Then yeah, boy, Can you believe that? Then you really know you're way too fat. <laughs> Take me out of old school, Tom. Here you go, Rich. 1-800-5800-TOM. Aaron, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Uh, not much, Aaron. 
All right, so this is the deal. I used to work in the auto shop. Yeah. And we had this guy's car up on the lift, right? Mm-hmm. And we noticed that he had two bad shocks, both on the driver's side. Yes. So we get him in, you know, put his put his ride down. He gets in it. Big, big fat guy. Anyway, we're kind of laughing the whole time. It's leaning almost. It, the van's, like, leaning almost all the way over. I, I swear to God, dude, it was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you for that. It's Elizabeth on the Tom Likas Show. What are the ways you can tell somebody's gotten way too fat? Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, this isn't me. It's actually a cousin of mine. She's five foot tall, but she has to drive a car with her driver's seat all the way back because otherwise her stomach won't fit behind the steering wheel. Oh, love when that happens. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. That bitch still ain't Miss USA. She should be f***ing slapped in the f***ing face. All right, Dad. That's enough. Boys, you can't say the F word on the radio. Not my rule. I use the F word every hour of every day. Except the hours I'm on the radio. Then I only use it during commercial breaks. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Like it's showing one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. How can you tell you've gotten way too fat, Jackie? On the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Jackie. Hey. Hey. You can tell you're way too fat when Hooker tells you it's going to be one price for you and extra for your fat. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. It's Todd on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Uh, pretty good, Todd. Good. You can tell uh, you've gotten a little too fat when you get arrested and it takes the cops three pairs of handcuffs to get your arms behind your back. Mm -hmm. Do they do that? (laughs) No, I've just seen it happen. Oh, I see. Jeez, (laughs) I'd never seen that myself. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Chris. All right. uh, You know they're fat when they come into my uh, chicken restaurant and they order an eight-piece meal. I thought that they wanted to take it to go. The guy ate it all by himself in the lobby. No. All by himself. He got mad because we packed it to go, and uh, he sat in the lobby and ate it all by himself. (laughs) Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're looking for the ways you can tell you've gotten way too fat. It's John. Hello. John. I mean, Tom, how you doing, sir? Pretty good, John. Okay. The, The way that I can tell when someone's too fat. Say the person goes into a restaurant and orders a big old steak with a big old plate of everything, you know, just imagine everything on it, and they order a Diet Coke or a Diet Pepsi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or they ask for that? I mean, I used to be a waiter, and I had that all the time. Yeah, or they ask for some extra sweet and low. Like, that's right, going to make any go. difference. Right. Tom, <laughs> take me out Halle Berry style. Halle Berry style. Here you go, John. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? All right, Chris. Long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. How you doing? Hey, I got a brother who came out from uh, New York to visit me, and this guy weighs about three hundred fifty pounds. I mean, I haven't seen him like over six years, so you know he's pretty heavy. Mm-hmm. And uh, we stopped by one of these restaurants. I'm, I'm not gonna say no names, but uh, this guy ordered. Two double-double burgers, man. After eating that... Oh, we're not going to say what restaurant it is. All I'm going to say is I was in and out in an hour. That's right. <laughs> so he, he gets into my car, man, and I get in. I start the car up, and right when he gets in, man, he breaks my damn chair. <laughs> I'm in my passenger chair. What, in your car? In my car. I mean, he literally just popped. You know, the, you, you click it on the side, and it yeah. usually moves. Man, this thing just literally busted right back. And it didn't, I mean, it was just broken, man. Broken. Wow. This guy's heavy. This guy's heavy. That is it. That I is mean, heavy. I have this little computer chair at home where he sits on the computer, and where he tries to sit on the damn chair and has the handrails. I mean, his butt can't even fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are ways to know. You are way too fat. Send us an email. Our email address is...